Hey, what's up? This is Ricardo at PartsPeople.com. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps needed to install your Dell laptop replacement part. Each chapter has been stamped in the timeline below, so stay tuned. Parts People Tutorials. Upgrade or repair your Dell. Need the part? Find it here. Okay, first I recommend a plastic scribe and a Phillips head screwdriver. If you need these or your Dell replacement part, a link to our store can be found in the description below. This model has the option for a larger capacity battery. This is very useful for anyone needing a longer battery life between charges. Here are the two battery variations for your laptop. Loosen the captive screws that secure the bottom base cover to the laptop. Then use a plastic scribe to separate and remove the bottom base cover. Now disconnect the battery cable. Next you can unscrew and remove the battery. Now that you're fully disassembled, installing your new Dell part is as simple as retracing your steps in reverse. Okay, if you would like to increase the performance of your laptop or help your applications run faster, upgrading your RAM is a great way to do that. Here is an overview of the type of RAM you need and the amount that you can add. Loosen the captive screws that secure the bottom base cover to the laptop. Then use a plastic scribe to separate and remove the bottom base cover. Now disconnect the battery cable. Now separate the clips to release and slide out your memory. Now that you're fully disassembled, installing your new Dell part is as simple as retracing your steps in reverse. Eventually, there's always a possibility that you'll run out of storage space on your SSD. In order to prevent this, you can replace it with a larger one. Here's how. Loosen the captive screws that secure the bottom base cover to the laptop. Then use a plastic scribe to separate and remove the bottom base cover. Now disconnect the battery cable. Now unscrew and slide out the solid state drive assembly. Then unscrew and remove the solid state drive. Now that you're fully disassembled, installing your new Dell part is as simple as retracing your steps in reverse. Upgrading your CPU is another way to increase the performance on your Dell. There are two types of motherboards with integrated Intel CPUs for this laptop, the Intel i5 and the higher performance Intel i7. Loosen the captive screws that secure the bottom base cover to the laptop. Then use a plastic scribe to separate and remove the bottom base cover. Disconnect the battery cable. Next you can unscrew and remove the battery. Now you can disconnect the antenna cables. Then unscrew and remove the Wi-Fi card. Now separate the clips to release and slide out your memory. Now unscrew and remove the display cable bracket. Then disconnect the display cable. Then unscrew and disconnect the heatsink cooling fan. Now unscrew and slide out the solid state drive assembly. Then unscrew and remove the solid state drive. Use a plastic scribe to unclip and disconnect the LED board cable. Now disconnect the speakers. Now unscrew and remove the inner frame. Disconnect and remove the CMOS battery. Use a plastic scribe to unclip the motherboard cable. Now unscrew and remove the motherboard. Now 
Now that you're fully disassembled, installing your new Dell part is as simple as retracing your steps in reverse. Now, if you're looking to upgrade to a touchscreen LCD, you'll need the touchscreen LCD as well as the compatible touchscreen LCD cable. Here's how. Loosen the captive screws that secure the bottom base cover to the laptop. Then use a plastic scribe to separate and remove the bottom base cover. Disconnect the battery cable. Now you can disconnect the antenna cables. Then unscrew and remove the Wi-Fi card. Now unscrew and remove the display cable bracket. Then disconnect the display cable. And now you can unscrew and remove the LCD display assembly. Then use a plastic scribe to unsnap and separate the LCD bezel, carefully working your way around the edges. Then disconnect and remove the web camera. Now unscrew and turn over the LCD screen. Then peel away the adhesive tape. Then use a plastic scribe to unclip and remove the LCD cable. The remaining piece is the LCD screen. Now that you're fully disassembled, installing your new Dell part is as simple as retracing your steps in reverse. If you still need to purchase your replacement part, click here to visit our site and find it. And while over there, you can view our printable instructions that include images to help you along the way. And also don't forget, we have more playlists here, so keep checking back. I do read your comments, so leave any questions you have for me down below. Thanks for watching.